There's so many games scheduled for release this year, I have to race through this list of the 20 I'm most looking forward to. They're numbered arbitrarily because people love lists, but the numbers mean nothing. So let's kick things off with number 20, Battle Cry. This free-to-play, 32-player, team-based combat game from Bethesda looks like a nice mix of a few game types into something new, with wicked art direction and brutal action. 19 is Crazy Man Suda51's new creation, Let It Die. This looks like it'll be an extremely brutal romp that'll push video game violence to a mad new place. Obviously, I'm excited. At 18 is Dying Light. This is bringing a fresh parkour and combat system to the very tired area that is zombie gaming. It is intense, edge of your seat, undead wasting fun. Next up is the new Metal Gear Solid, The Phantom Pain. She saved the box. She was saving herself. Fire! From the master Hideo Kojima, this open world espionage action title looks gorgeous and is promising a lot to its army of devout fans. When the time comes, I'll pull the trigger. Mike, Emily. 16 is Until Dawn. Hello, Samantha. Looking for me. You're only going to see what I want you to see. Just imagine a Telltale Game-style interactive story only made with amazing 3D graphics and in the spirit of campy teen slasher films like Friday the 13th. Mint. <laughs> this is a huge, huge year for Star Wars fans for obvious reasons, and EA breathing new life into their beloved Battlefront franchise couldn't come at a better time. Star Wars games have disappointed for quite a while now, but this is a new hope for fans that should deliver. And as someone once said, do or do not, there is no try. In 14th place is the console port of groundbreaking open world survival horror DayZ. This title pioneered an ingenious new type of gameplay that I sincerely hope works just as well on the consoles. Next up, The Division. Oh, I threw a Molotov again. Good call, thank you. This is one of many games pushed to 2015 from last year. It's a post-apocalyptic tactical multiplayer third-person shooter, and it still looks great. The Industrial Revolution. But for sheer graphical beauty, The Order 1886 is the prettiest thing on the schedule. This game also plays great with a mix of stealth and guns blazing action and has an interesting alternate history setting. At 11 is ultra violent fighting game Mortal Kombat X. Thunder blots out the sun. Temporarily. The next chapter in this notoriously excessive scrapper should be amazing. Off the top 10, No Man's Sky. This trippy, beautiful, and massively procedurally generated game made by a tiny indie team has everyone excited for good reason. It looks incredible. At 9, the new Halo. Put it down once and for all. The flagship Xbox franchise is truly iconic, and Guardians is its first stab at the powerful new gen console. For fully sci-fi shooter action, this will surely be 2015's best. Eight is another delayed 2014 release, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Witcher, I was hoping you'd come. The fantasy genre is very healthy at the moment, and this violent, mature, open-world RPG promises a deeply interesting and epic storyline along with amazing action. You know how this will end. But fantasy franchises don't come much bigger than Game of Thrones. Ask any Lannister, and they do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. 
Telltale Games is one of the most respected studios on the planet, known for simple games that are driven by incredible storylines. Released episodically, this series is off to a great start and I'm itching to see more of it. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? At 6 is the sequel to one of 2013's greatest games, Tomb Raider. If Rise of the Tomb Raider is half as good as the last one, I'd be happy. But as developer Crystal Dynamics is building on the reboot's success and on powerful new gen consoles for the first time, I expect they'll raise the bar with this one. My top five starts with Batman Arkham Knight. The only thing sources agree on is his name, the Arkham Knight. This is the coolest superhero franchise of the gaming world, hands down. The next chapter introduces the Batmobile and a bunch of awesome gameplay with it, along with a new sky-high level of visual beauty. Bring it on. As a massive horror fan, I actually yelled with joy when I discovered Silent Hills. This is one of the most exciting trailers I've seen in a long time. Discovering the names of the guys making it, the lead star, and the franchise it's rebooting all in this one little video, it just blew my mind. I expect the game to blow it many, many more times. Number three belongs to none other than Nathan Drake. Uncharted 4 A Thief's End is the latest from Naughty Dog, one of the best teams in the business. How are they going to follow up on their amazing Uncharted trilogy? Well, from what we've seen of A Thief's End so far, the action has been improved to a whole new level, and the characters and acting are just as endearing and lovable as the original games. Naughty Dog could well set a new high point for the entire medium with this title, and here's hoping they do. At 2 is the multiplayer action joy of Evolve. This is an action game that centers on four versus one combat. Four human hunters versus one massive monster, all controlled by human players. This very simple concept of a co-op and competitive multiplayer mashup is executed tremendously by the Turtle Rock team. It's stupidly fun, and as it's all human controlled, every match is entirely different. And at number one, people who know me probably could have guessed, it's the next Call of Duty. There's no footage or even a title for the 12th main Call of Duty game yet, but it's being developed by Treyarch, and after how superb last year's Advanced Warfare was, I am well on board. Newcomer developer Sledgehammer Games set a new high bar with Advanced Warfare, but Treyarch have just gone from strength to strength with their later Call of Duty titles. And with three whole years to work on this year's edition, they'll be wanting to raise the bar again. This franchise breaks so many records for a good reason. Multiplayer shooter action simply doesn't come better, and I cannot wait to get my hands on Treyarch's Call of Duty 12 in November. Narrowing this list down to 20 was really difficult, as there's just so many great looking games coming out. Good luck with making the agonizing choices they present this year, and whatever you play, have fun doing it, and play nice. Daniel Rutledge, 3 News.